Coming up in this video is part two of easy whole food plant-based snow oil recipes for beginners. Hi, Debbie Chu here from Chu on Vegan. Welcome back to my kitchen. If you're new here, I'm a plant-based RN and I follow a whole food plant-based snow oil way of eating. This can also be called the starch solution. So if you're doing the starch solution or just a whole food plant-based snow oil way of eating, then stick around for some good recipes. On my channel, you're gonna find quick and easy whole food plant-based recipes. So if that sounds good to you, please subscribe, hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video, which is every week. Follow me on Instagram and check out my Facebook group if you feel like you need a little bit more support or inspiration. Today's gonna to be part two of easy recipes that are perfect for beginners. Even if you're not a beginner, these recipes are great. The majority of my recipes that I eat on a daily basis are very, very simple and very basic. I want you to have in your repertoire recipes that are not only whole food, plant-based, no oil, but are not boring, delicious, and easy to make. And you'll find that most of my recipes you will have leftovers, so it's a great way to get a little food prep in too at the same time. So first up, I'm gonna be making a tater tot bowl this bowl is inspired by something that I had yesterday, in fact, in Solvang, California, at a place called Brecky by Chomp. And this was one of their vegan options. And it was also gluten-free. It had some beautiful veggies, it had some black beans, and I changed it up a bit here. They do do tater tots, but in the original recipe, it's soy chorizo, and I'm not really a huge fan of fake meats, so I asked if I could sub the chorizo for the tater tots and they said sure and it was perfect and a little bit of avocado on top so I will be showing you that and then I will be doing a roasted corn risotto and this is going to be in the form of a bowl so I'm going to do the risotto but I'm going to have lots of other things in my bowl lots of non-starchy vegetables and that's going to be really easy too risotto sometimes can be overwhelming for people because it takes a little bit of time but it's really easy to do it just takes a little patience but it's not hard at all so let's get started on these two recipes so for our tater tot bowl we're gonna of course make the tater tots and I use frozen hash browns you can use fresh potatoes what I suggest is that you pre-bake them pre-steam them leave them in the fridge for several hours or overnight and then just grate them that way. I wouldn't do it from fresh potatoes, you know, raw potatoes. And I've got a couple cups here that I put into a bowl and I just put them in the microwave for three to four minutes to kind of get them defrosted. They're already cooked so you don't need to cook them. And then we're just going to add a few ingredients here. I've got a quarter teaspoon each of salt, onion powder, garlic powder, and smoked paprika. So I'm just gonna sprinkle that on here and give that just a quick little toss to get them mixed. Now we're gonna add about a tablespoon of tapioca flour and that's just to kind of help them stick together when we're forming our little tots. Then you just want to mix this all together. I'm going to put these into my air fryer basket. We'll set it at 400 for about 15 minutes. We'll check it. If we want them crispier, we let it go longer. You could do these in the oven. I would do maybe 400, 425 for about 30 minutes, flipping them halfway through. And just forming them is you just grab, grab some, kind of mush it around, and then just form them into your tater tot shape and set them in your air fryer basket. You can make them, you know, as big or as small as you like. So you can make these any size you would like. Just try to make them about the same size so they cook evenly, they cook at the same time. All right, I'm gonna finish making my tots, then I'm gonna throw them into the air fryer and then we'll prep the other ingredients. So for our bowl, we're going to have mushroom, onion, peppers, zucchini, and a little bit of sweet corn, and some black beans. So I'm gonna get the onions and the mushrooms going first while our tater tots are cooking. So I'm just gonna 
chop these up. I've got six cremini here. You could use white, whatever kind you want. Then I'm just gonna just give them a quick chop this way. I just want small pieces. All right, we're gonna throw this in a bowl. You can do a middle slice too if you want. Then we'll get our bell peppers chopped up. I gotta sharpen my knife. Oh, much better. Always sharpen your knife before you start filming. Note to self. I know you're all thinking it. And then the zucchini. All right, let's head over to the stove and get everything going. Okay, I just threw these into a preheated pan. This is my always pan. I will leave a link to it below. I'm not adding any water yet because the mushrooms and onions will release their own moisture, but just keep an eye on them. I'm on medium heat, so just start stirring it around and get these going. Now you can see how beautifully these are caramelizing, they've cooked down. At this point, I'm gonna add a clove of garlic. Let this go for 30 seconds, and then I'm gonna add the other veggies. I'm gonna keep the seasoning very simple for this. I'm just gonna use some garlic salt. But season it up however you'd like. And we're just gonna saute these for a few minutes. We don't want them to be mushy. Let's throw in our corn and our beans. And another couple minutes and we'll be ready to serve. I'm gonna add in about a tablespoon of chopped cilantro. If you're not a fan of cilantro, you can do parsley or you can just leave it out. Look at how beautiful this is. All these colors. So here it is, our tater tot bowl. Fresh veggies, our tater tots. They came out nice and crispy. Let's give it a taste. All right, here it is. I added about a quarter of an avocado on top. Just seasoned really simply. Mmm. Perfect. You don't want to overcook your veggies. You still want them to have a little bit of a crunch, a little bit of a bite. Mmm. Now let's try our little tater tot here. I've got some ketchup. Perfect for dipping. Mmm. They're crispy on the outside. They're still soft on the inside. Seasoned to perfection. Mmm. So delicious. And you get about five tots per bowl. This um, recipe serves two. I'll leave the complete recipe below. I can't wait to show you the next recipe. It's a roasted corn risotto. And we're going to make that into a bowl. So just showing you a couple bowls for today that are simple and easy and will take no time at all to whip together. So for the risotto, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you get the arborio rice. This is very important. It makes it really creamy and delicious. And we're not gonna be adding any oil or any wine to this recipe. It's pretty simplified. So let's head over to the stove and we'll get started on our risotto. First thing you're gonna need is four cups of veggie broth and you're gonna to want to make sure it's really hot. You're going to leave the heat on the pan and just let it go on a low temperature to keep it nice and hot. That's going to be really important. Then you want to put some water in a pan because we're not using oil and I'm going to add about a half a cup of onion, finely chopped, and you're going to let this saute for a couple of minutes. More than a couple of minutes, just you want the onions to be soft. Now we're going to add in a cup and a half of the arborio rice. You don't want to rinse it. You want the starch because that's what's going to make it creamy. So just get this coated with the moisture from the onions. You want to make sure each grain gets coated with a little bit of moisture here. 
because we're not using oil. All right, now we're gonna start adding in our broth. We're gonna add it in by ladle full. I usually start with two ladlefuls. And we're going to cook this on medium heat till all the moisture is absorbed. And you're gonna watch this rice just get so nice and fluffy as it absorbs all this broth. You wanna keep a close eye on it. You're gonna be standing here the whole time. And it takes about at least 20 minutes, sometimes it's longer. So you just wanna keep checking and I'll show you what it should look like when you're ready for the next ladle full. And you don't want the heat too high, so kind of a medium low, but closer to medium. Okay, when you see it starting to get dry like this, there's really not a lot of moisture left, that's when you're gonna add another ladle full. And you can see there's little pieces of veggie in my broth that's in here, which is fine. So you want to continue to kind of move it around and see if it's time to add more, which I think we're about there. I'll kind of move it around for a few seconds and then leave it alone. Like, and I don't want it to, I'm going to turn it down a little bit. So you may have to adjust the temperature as you're going along. Now you can see how much it's fluffed up. And you can see how nice and creamy it's looking. So when you're at this point, you've got about a ladle and a half left of broth. We're just going to add that to the rice. And at this point, we're going to add the roasted corn. This is just frozen. And I'm going to add tablespoon or so of flat leaf parsley and we're just going to let this cook in there with the rice the final cooking till all the moisture is absorbed now if for some reason your rice isn't done test it and for some reason if you taste your rice and it you don't think it's done then just get a little bit more broth and do a couple more ladlefuls but check it before you get to this point, because you want this on the last ladle full of rice. All right, we're just gonna let this go, and then we'll complete the bowl. So here's our beautiful bowl, risotto bowl. We've got our roasted corn in the risotto here with some flat leaf parsley. I just steamed up some frozen broccoli, chopped up some tomatoes, and then I've got some chickpeas. And I'm just gonna drizzle over a little bit of ranch dressing, just to give it a little oomph here because we all like a sauce right I mean I'm gonna put a little bit over the risotto and then finish it off with a little bit more of the parsley look at that it's beautiful filling and tasty so this is definitely full of nutrients low fat I'll leave a link to the ranch dressing in the description box. But let's not wait any longer, let's give it a taste. Okay, so here is this fabulous bowl. In the clip before, you saw had the risotto, the chickpeas, the tomatoes, and some broccoli, a little ranch dressing on there. That risotto came out so good, can't wait to give it a taste. All right, let's give it a taste. Get some of that ranch dressing, some of that corn, Mm. Yeah, the chickpeas and the risotto, they go really well together. And you know, gotta have my greens. And I got some tomatoes in there. This is a great bowl for weight loss. Low fat, high carb, whole carbs, and nutrient dense. So I hope you can see from this video that these recipes are easy. Even if a recipe takes maybe a few steps, like the risotto, it's not hard, it's easy, it just takes a little bit of time. 
But now I have leftovers and I've got leftovers of the tater top bowl and I have leftovers of the risotto bowl. So I've got meals for a few days here, at least three. If you've made it this far in the video, please comment below with healthy bowls and that way I know that you made it to the end with me and I really appreciate it. I'll leave the full recipes and any links, anything I talked about or you saw, there'll be links in the description box or the show notes or the down bar, whatever you want to call it. You just click that little arrow, it opens up and you'll see everything in there. My recipes, all my resources. Be sure to check out my online course. If you're new to this way of eating, if you feel like you need some help getting going, join my Facebook group. It's a great community of like-minded minds and you're gonna see recipes and inspiration and best of all support. If you like this video, if you learned something, please give it a like. It really helps my channel to grow. And leave a comment. I love to hear from you guys. Remember that all my recipes are good for you, they're good for the animals, and they're good for the planet. And what you put on your plate determines your fate and your weight. Until next time, thank you.